Morning everybody, it's Monday morning. Um I'm down at the down at the way. I'm at home at the moment. I'm not be going anywhere because uh, I'm going to bed. I was up at six o'clock this morning morning in, uh, in town watching uh, the wrestling with my friends basically. So time for some sleep. But I've just come into the greenhouse to see how things are progressing. Some two lots of bad news basically to start a week off. It's exactly what I didn't want. I've came in because I'm going to start sending out some seeds, which I promised people a little while ago. Um, I've come in to get the sunflower seeds, the ones that I saved from last year. And look what I found. Some things had to go into the paper. And I found in this, um, this angel trumpet loads of shells from the sunflower seeds. There's a mouse in the, sun, in, there's a mouse in the greenhouse. So I'm going to be taking these inside and taking the 15 inch head sunflower seeds inside as well. And I noticed the sunflowers that I saw the other day were sitting on the top and that's what first drew my attention. So that's the first lot of bad news. The second lot of bad news is, on this flag here, as you can see, I noticed straight away that there was rust on the flag. So I got myself a bit of Vaseline straight away, or Vaseline, something similar to Vaseline, and I've just put it on the top of there. Um, Try to cover it over. I will have to move that out of here though so it doesn't affect the other leaks. So good start of the week. I'm gonna get things watered off in here, get things prevented, um, and then uh, that'll be me done for the day. Uh, I am off again on the next few mornings, so we'll see what I can get done this week. Last week I made a bit of a boo-boo with the uh, dates on the video, so they were wrong. <laughs> Thanks to everybody who messaged us about them. That's what happens when you're rushing trying to get things sorted out. Um, first time it's happened in two years, but never mind. Um, today it is now Wednesday. Don't know the date. It's the 10th. It's 10th of day, I believe. I'm down at the plot now, and then I'm going to work again. I've got work this afternoon and this evening. Um, I've got tomorrow off, but I'll be down there. Uh, I've taken the kids out for their birthday, belated birthday present. Um, so I'll not be getting much done tomorrow, but this weekend it will be rammed full of things because I've got Saturday and Sunday off, so I'll be trying to get as much stuff done as possible. Um, I'll show you what I've done so far, just for today before I shoot off. So the carrot box, that's the one that's ready. What I've done is I've bored out the holes. You know, all I've done is just used the bottom end of that cane and just bored out 12 holes ready for the soil to go in, the carrot mix soil to go in and I'll sprinkle the stump carrot seeds, a couple on the top and then when they come through, they germinate, I'll have all that, uh, I'll, I'll thin them out. I've still got half of this one filled up, I've got to do the rest of it and I've got to do this one. I'll have them in succession because basically at the minute I'm, I need to get some sand but I don't have the money for it. So that's going to have to wait. Same with these barrels, now, I'll not be doing long carrots here by the looks of things just too much stuff get to be done so i'm starting to limit down to certain things um but they're ready to go i'll probably move them out of the way so that i can use these beds here this bed here and put some cauliflowers or something in so it's not wasted space but long carrots will be next year unless for unless i do them the beginning of next month but in the meantime it's just getting the sand down here but yeah so i've getting them sorted out so there's some carrots will be going into there i've just bored them out Fill them up with uh, sire compost, with the correct compost, then that'll be that sorted out. Um, I've been in, I've watered everything. I've noticed in the greenhouse here, I've got some thrip, so I need to give everything a spray in there, which I will do. Everything else, though, is still coming on all right. I need to start getting preparations done for this weekend. Uh, for this, I'll, I'm more than likely going to be putting this cover on, as long as it's nice, as long as I get the uh, hand. So that's, what I, that's what's going to be happening this weekend. I've also decided that once the fire's done, this year, once this, everything's sorted with the fire, I'm going to be moving the fire. Yes, <laughs> I'm mad. <laughs> but at the moment, I'm having a lot of difficulty with the fire being inside, pointing inside. The yeah, door being on the inside, all the smoke's coming in. And when I'm away as well, the suit is coming up and it's just lying on top of things, as you can see here. And it's just lying on top of the plants. So lying on top, lying on top. You can see it all on the leaks as well. The fine dust on the leaks there so that's not helping so i'm going to turn it around so it's just like my granddad's i'm going to have the fire door outside and sort the pipe work out i will ask for assistance with that but that's what's ha that's what i'm going to be. that's the summer planning anyways the main plan is to get this cover on this week and also hopefully might be able to get that structure put up i don't know we'll see what happens so in the weekend. Done now because it's time for it to go to work 
So I'll catch you at the weekend or alternatively as well. I might catch you tomorrow evening to see what I can get sorted out. I need to get some more compost so that I can get other things sorted. But in the meantime, I'll see you Thursday evening and also at the weekend. Good Saturday morning, everybody. Well, as you can see, it's been a pretty quiet week so far, but now it's the weekend, two days off. And one of the big jobs to do is feels like a little bit like deja vu. This polytunnel will be getting the cover put onto it today. The sun is shining. Granddad Dave's on his way over as well. So it's like basically like a repeat from last year, but a few weeks earlier. But when I get the sheet put on the top, let the sun beam down on it for a good few hours, and then we'll pull it stretch to, and then screw the um the plant the plank the, well the lens in anyways um so that's one of the big jobs i want to get done today and uh, there's a few other tasks to get uh, get on with so i'm going to make a start now right time to get the polytunnel out of the greenhouse at the bottom then we're going to put it over the top of the frame and leave the sun to warm it up for the till later on So just as a temporary measure, got these clips just to put put it on. Now, as you can see, this is already pre-cut. This was cut from last year, and it's basically made to fit. It's a bit loose at the minute, of course, but I'm gonna need to wait for the sunshine to hit it so it uh, loosens, softens the plastic. So that me and Grandad Dave can stretch it so that we can get the back pull tight. Then we'll get the front pull tight. And then we'll do the sides. And then we'll do this side. And all we've done basically is just rolled it up, rolled it up onto a big plant, plinth, and just drilled a hole. They'll just screw screws all the way down there into the buttons. But this time round, with the extra support, this is not going to go anywhere. And then once all that's done, I'll be able to lift these hoops up just to tighten it a bit more. But that's on for the time being. The wind has picked up, which is a shame. But We've made a start. It's not going to forecast to get sunny till later on, so no rush at the minute. So while we're waiting for them that to, um, to heat up, so we can pull it tight and get everything sorted out, I have brought some goodies home from from home. These uh, these heavy carrots I've brought down, which are going to be going down into the bottom. You can't see now because I've got the sheet on. Uh, they they will be going into those beds down there, so they'll be going to them beds. So I'll have. Uh, Carrots on one side and parsnips on the other. That's what the plan is for them. And I'll have, uh, I'm gonna put two heavy carrots in one of those as well. Um, so that's what that's what's happening with them. The parsnips are gonna go into the other bed on the other side. So, but I need to build a frame for that, which I might actually do now when I've got a bit of time. Um, I have been trying to sort out my gas heater, but it's not playing. It's not playing nice. So I'm uh, asking the friend for help. So I've brought them down. I've also brought um, the last batch of giant cabbage down. They need potting on. I've also got one of the other ones that's um, in a big pot as well. I, I like watching a lot of people's things in their blogs and stuff like that. And one of the blogs I was following, I like to follow as well, is the the Compass King, Mick Pulteney. So um, I was having a look through his pictures and I spotted a, a sprayer, a flit sprayer. Um, in he sells them to when he goes with his talks and things like that. And uh, I inquired to see if I could get one. And he was kind enough to, uh, to send us one up. So, managed to get myself a flit sprayer. So thank you very much, Mick, for that. Um, or like I say, I would highly recommend it. The man knows his stuff will come washed. Um, and all sorts of other manners as well. That's going to help greatly in the battle against the thrip, which I'll show you in the middle greenhouse now. I've also brought some cumbrians that I had on the windowsill at home, which are absolutely covered in thrip. So I'll show you them now before I get started with the, that task I'm going to get on with for this afternoon. So in here, I've got uh, these are the cumbrians that I've brought for on the windowsill at home. They are really badly thrip damaged. You can see, look at that. It's absolutely covered. And when I look down the middle, I've spotted a couple of couple of little beasties little bugs i'll see if i can find them so you can know exactly what they look like uh so I if i see one easily on there tell me a second i'll have a look so, so on here you can see 
this little yellow thing that's here I believe that is a thrip there's two of them there see so a focus in there so I have sprayed these that's the reason why they might not be moving because they might be kaputted yeah, that's one that my finger there as well but uh, these you normally find them when you go in down in towards the center because uh, they normally eat on the fresh fresh growth that's why you, a lot of times when you spray um, the leaks with uh, with Dynamec or other products that's available the outside ones are thrip damaged but the inside ones aren't now if I start uh, start a, um, a course now with these they hopefully should pick up and recover but I need to segregate them off excuse me which uh, I have done uh, at the moment they spell with me big onions as well these are a bit thrip damaged as well you can see in the flutes there so these are getting the spray in as well I need to get these opened up uh, just basically neglect really I should really be I need to look after the all of my all the onions a bit better uh, it's just unfortunately it's just these ones um, but I'll get back on top of them now I've got my dynamic I've got my sprays already and I'll be back to spraying two times a week and there uh, we'll see how these cover cover before I plant them out but everything else in here is looking absolutely fine, Davy Dozy. The tomatoes are coming on canny. I need, actually, I need to set me. I need to um, put some more tomatoes in, and uh, I need to keep the ones which I'm going to be keeping. So they're all, they're all doing fine. And the, these are the heavy onions as well. So they're all coming along all right, and so are the the show onions as well, which I still need to get steaks for. But yep, uh, yep, prevention for the Thrip, I'm going to start giving these a good spray with my new little flit spray. So, thanks, Mick. I was watching Jeff's video last night, Jeff Foreman, and what he likes to do is put carrots in between his onions. Well, that had us thinking, why don't I try the same? Because the carrot, the onion, is supposed to defer the carrot fly from uh, getting to the carrot. So, I'm going to lift. I'm either going to lift or I'm going to cut one there, one there, and one there, and I'll do three rows of carrots in between, or I might do carrots in between all of them. I don't know. I'll see. I'm going to have a think. But uh, I'm just tinkering on as I go today. Well, I've just dug one of the beds over. The one that had the giant cabbages in, the first one there. I'm going to get the rotavator out now. And what I'm going to do, while well, it's a nice dry day, I'm going to rotavate all of these beds, or well, as many as I can, basically, until the ground that Dave gets here. And then we'll attempt to pop that on there. Well, it's pushing off a time on Saturday here, yeah? so it doesn't look as though we're going to get the chance um, to put this pull this tight today. Uh, the, the sun's just not been out enough for it to warm this plastic up, for it to be able to pull it. So we're going to clamp it on best we can, um, screw it in places, uh, and then just leave it for another time in which, like you say, the sun will come out, heat this up, and we can pull it down and get it all put in once. I'd rather do it properly first time this time round <laughs> as opposed to last time round but uh, it is a lot better already and you can feel the difference in the temperature in here as well but uh, still plenty of time to get this cover on for the meantime it's clamped on in place right um see what else i can get sorted out like i say i'm going to go and to start uh, doing the rotivating on them beds uh, then see what time i've got left so these are where the carrots the heavy carrots and heavy parsnips are going to go um, all I've done is I've cut four lengths of timber, same same length. I've uh, popped a cross member across the top. And then once we're already done, all I'm going to do when the time comes, when I find my green rule, is just to staple across the back, across the back. So I've got a section on the front which I can lift up and down. Um, I'm going to have a look to see if I can get some uh, beams to go across the top as well, just to finish off the, the cover itself. So that's what needs to be done on there. It's all been dug over and everything. It's just, uh, that looks a bit of a mess at the minute, but never mind. I've moved the whole structure on top of the frame now. So all of this is flat packed, ready to go to put up. And it all fits nicely. I um, throw John done a fantastic bit of measuring. So I'm pleased with that. As you can see from the, yeah, the tunnel cover is a bit loose, but never mind. Like I said, I'll sort that out at that time. Um, I've just been inside the, the lower greenhouse here bottom greenhouse 
just give everything a little water. I've brought these cauliflower, these, uh, these, cauliflower, these giant cabbage down. These are the ones that I've had at home. The last, the last, last one. Uh, so I've got them ones. Um, I've also brought down these ones here. So I brought down them ones. Oh, sorry, yeah, uh, yeah. I brought down them ones on the floor. So I brought down that one. Sorry, just that one. So that one and then four are the ones that I've brought from home. I've still got these three under here, which are coming along all right. I've got these three, which are coming along once again a lot better. And I've got the three big ones. Well, these are the ones that I've started first back in uh, November. And uh, they're doing quite fine as well since I removed the strawberries from inside here. So the white leaves that I had the problem with the white leaves was white fly. Because since taking them out and giving these a spray, they're fine. I've got the broccoli there, which I sowed into the, the cups. They're fine in there as well. And also these are all the cauliflowers and stuff. They're, they're, they're trying to go out now. They're, they're wanting to go out in the ground. So I'll have to sort that out. Down below here, on the shelf below, what I've just left, the um, the dahlias just could do their thing and get on with their own thing. Uh, they were starting to show signs of life. Better late than never. <laughs> so there's a couple of bits on there, there's a bit on there as well and uh, there's also just a little bit on that one there as well my granddad made a bit of a mistake these are geraniums ok so that's what they look like when they come to it I bought them last year full price you ended up uh, buying some plug plants there was 40 in each uh, tray he had a bit of an issue online so he bought what he wanted where he wanted petunias Busy Lizzie's, uh, geraniums, and um, something else as well, I can't remember. But um, the geraniums, they ended up getting three lots of each. So I've bought some geraniums, so I'm getting 40 geraniums off them. Um, oh, he had begonias as well, but all the begonias are gone. So I bought 40 geraniums off them, and uh, I think it was £9 on total. I helped them out. Um, so I've getting that, I need to pot them on when I get a chance to, which will be next week. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm busy filling this, the water buckets up at the moment because they're all down, they're all dead, uh, they're all empty, sorry. Um, so after I've done this, I am going next door to get that motivated off. Well, one down. Tons more to go. I've got to go now. I've been called away to go get little sky for my lesson, uh, singing lesson. So, I've got one done. Time to tidy up, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Hi everybody, it's Sunday. Um, haven't done anything to be honest today. I'm not feeling too clever, so I say to take the whole day of rest. Um, I'm just at home, just finishing off this week's video. Let us show you a couple of things from the back garden, and also a few things which mean the kids are going to be getting on with a little bit later on. It's nice to have a bit of colour in the garden. The tulips are popping up as well, and the daffodils are still there as well. And then all these tubs, it's nice to see all the tulips up. Still some of the tulips that went from last year, the white and the purple ones. And these hanging baskets that I put together with the flowers that I got from Group 1 are come up lovely. There's a clematis here that I got for 70 pence. That was dead. It's now starting to rise up, so I'm going to have to find somewhere for that. Done really well. And it looks like the grapevines are starting to come into fruit, uh, come into bud as well, which is nice to see. Coming to the back here, yeah? this is what I wanted to show you. These here are for Lataris. Now I got these from uh, Harrogate last year, three bulbs for ten pounds. Now of course they're a bit past it now, but uh, they look nice. Two different colours by the looks of things, they're yellow and orange. Um, and of course, it's been, just been pushed pushed out by the, the daffodils, just been pushed out by them. Um, still a fair bit of colour. And this is what Leslie's been up to as well. She, was, uh, she got given a load of plants from a local community uh, centre, which she helps out at every, uh, every week. So she got given a load of flowers to pot on, which is nice to just, she's just do all that herself. So it was nice to see. All by being, that was going to be used for my sunflower. A giant one, so that that being wiped off, which done one in the front garden as well. The back here, 
nothing much going on really the minimums i've just left in are starting to come back up come back to life just a few other plants that leslie put in the garden as well it's a work in progress basically we've got lilies that were put in from last year coming back up as well these are anterinium from last year let's see it's just a bit of a lazy <laughs> a bit lazy that's all um pulled the stock onions out just because i needed some space because in here as you can see yeah, it's just a damn mess i've moved some onions because i've cleared the space of the windowsill in the sitting room so i've cleared the onions from there and also the ones that's on this side because i've also taken some stuff down to the garden as you've seen there yeah, so the carrots and everything have been taken down so i'm going to start clearing this this out as well making better use of the space because i've got more things to to pot up and start start potting i haven't even started sunflowers or anything yet speaking of sunflowers the ones that I put in there unfortunately they've all been by the looks of things eaten so I'm gonna have to start them off put them in again there again and uh, pop them inside just so the mice don't get to them other than that I'm just going to do a bit of sorting out we've got uh, the boxes of seeds here to get sorted out and uh, we'll make a start for next week's video shortly but that's pretty much what's happening today let's say and there's nothing else really going going on i'm just going to move a few things around here just to get things a bit of air the mackenzie leaks are still looking all right still looking nice i need to get them potted up as you can see the roots in the bottom but yeah they're coming on all right it'll be time to put all take all of this all of these down to the allotment for long hopefully the temperatures start start coming a bit uh into double digits for long it'll be nice to see my loofah's coming on canny there as well, and also my me, uh, me giant beets, which I need to get potted on. That's another job to do, and I've got all the onions and still, these are all quality onions, which I need to get uh, sorted out. These are the ones I've potted on a couple of weeks, but actually, let's have a look and see what they're like. Well, as you can see, there's still a bit of room for growth in there. I need to get the, give these all a drink, which I'll do now before I leave. But everything's coming along canny in here. I'm looking forward to seeing these uh, angel trumpets as well. They're just firing away there now nice nice growth on them so thanks very much again martin for those so yeah i've got up here i've got some more beetroot sorry um a couple of, couple of beetroot popping up there and also some uh brigadier cabbages which i'll pop in and we'll see how things go with them this year as well but as from me from this week not a great lot being done but i will get motivation and everything back to get stuff sorted because need to get things done basically there's still a fair few bits and pieces to prepare for the garden before we start planting out i've taken the first from the first of may off for about nine days in total and uh from there i'll be getting everything blitzed things will be going either in the ground if they're ready or they'll be getting put into the polytunnel if it gets sorted speaking about the polytunnel i've had a look at the weather forecast and next friday it looks like it's going to be a marvelous day and i'm only working um uh, it'll one so uh, Monday after, uh, Friday afternoon, it looks like I'll be able to get that polytunnel cover put on properly. So that'll be cool. But yeah, thanks everybody for watching this week. Those that um, so far uh, from my 1500 subscriber giveaway that I ran the other day, um, thanks everybody for joining in. In any case, um, the 20 people that won, uh, I've received nine uh, envelopes. If you're having difficulty getting in contact with me, I will. What I'm going to do is, because I know it's difficult trying to get in contact if you don't have Facebook or anything like that, I'll do a live video, whereas I'll uh, I'll have a chat with you and I'll explain the best way to send things out then. So uh, I'll pre-warn you in regards to when the video is going to be, um, put, keep a look out for that. But anyways, I shall see you next week. Watch what you're doing. Thanks everybody for liking, subscribing, commenting and all that kind of thing as well. Sorry for nicking your catchphrase there, Dave. <laughs> but I shall see you all next week. Thanks, everybody. See you.